Are you ready for the best drum restoration video you've ever seen? Take your drums from this to this and also from this to this. I'm gonna show you how to do this from start to finish. Stay tuned. Alright guys, here's my little arsenal of equipment. Excuse my little dirty countertop. <laughs> um, so this is what the lug looks like now. This is what the uh, collector's lug looks like. This is one of the lugs that actually went on my 14. And when I say went, I do mean went. Like the uh, entire tension rod just gave in. Kind of like my PDP kit, which very, uh, very much made me sad because these are not cheap to come by. I'm just being honest. But this is my test lug where I'm going to sand this thing down. I'm going to paint it up a little bit and I'll show you guys what it looks like primed and painted ready. Okay. So that's phase one. Well, phase whatever, however order this comes in. I got these for the outside of the drum. So I don't know if I'm going to post it in the video or not. I probably will. I made a terrible mistake by trying to finish the outer edge of the drum with the same orange texture I had on the inside. Came out absolutely terrible. So I ended up getting natural um, classic gold pecan to go on the outside to make it just shine a little buff up just a little bit before I apply this uh, lacquer. So this is gonna even it out a lot more for me. So this would be a lot better uh, for me. Um, now to the next phase. So that is, I'm gonna show you the process for that. Um, I'm gonna sand it down first with the three, the uh, 120 count, I'm sorry. <laughs> One, yeah, 120 fine grain sandpaper. And then I'm going to use this to apply the uh, coat on the outside. Um, on the inside, I was, I was really contemplating doing lacquer um, to protect it. But again, it's the inside of the drum Seriously, the worst that's gonna happen is, um, you know what? Never mind. I might clear coat it just to be safe. Yeah, yeah, we might clear coat it just to be safe. Um, primer, obviously, for my nice lug. Not the day! Then I have my spray lacquer for the outside. So this is going to be very, very clear. Okay, in my clear coat for. Uh, this one, obviously my super blaster. Yeah, shoot at your own risk. I'm a painter's tape, because I still haven't decided if I want to paint a uh, stripe in the drum or not. But we're gonna find out real soon, all right? What other than a perfect time than to bring out my foundry reserve? Gloves, thank you so much, Mino. Oh, I found your reserve gloves, my Usher gloves. I'm about to get this thing cracking, man. I stripped the shell completely, took all the lugs off. I'm going to sand this thing something serious. I'm gonna give it some TLC. I already taped off, uh, I forget what you call it, like the little rib section part, or whatever. Um, and we're gonna stain the entire inside. I always like that Tama look, um, like the Tama and like some of the Yamaha drums, these new uh, darker like, looks or whatever. And I already took pictures of like the cereals and stuff like that. So I'm gonna get it started, man. Can't wait. Man, if somebody asked me if I wanted to make this a career, I got my house. Man, I got these drums I'm out here doing, painting them up and 
doing this stuff, man. And I got my gospel music playing in the living room. Man, I am looking to make anything that I enjoy a lifestyle. I might actually go into business finishing drums. I just might. Keep on playing with me, D. I like helping people out and solving issues. For all I know, this video can go viral and y'all can be like, man, I've been wanting to do something with my drums for a long time. Well, guess what? Go ahead and reach out to me. I don't know if I'll be in business by then, but I'll be doing something. So I already did it, but I figured I could just show again. And again, this is going to go on YouTube. I just sand around the whole thing. I'd rather do it. I did it horizontally um, this way, but um, just sand it around the entire thing. It's the inside of the drum. So the chances of something, you know, happening, something not being smooth on the inside is very slim. However, you got a one and, one and done shot deal. You want to make sure you're doing this correctly. So... Side done. Now we just gotta sand, keep sanding this thing out. And phase two is coming, man. This drum's about to be crispy. Y'all better buy my DVD too. I'm not playing, bro. I don't know why. Like I just realized I want the sunlight, but I don't want it that. You know, I don't want that much sun. So it's all sanded, and we're gonna go ahead and wipe it down. A little smooth on There we go. I'm gonna drop the tom. That'd have been terrible. Get it real smooth. Turn it. Get it real smooth. And now we're going to apply. I guess I'm using a dish rag, a dish towel. Don't judge me. Whatever. Now we're gonna apply the wood stainer. Yeah, yeah, wee oui, wee. Oui. See, see, see. darkening it just a little bit but it may not actually fix it so this may just have to be the trial and error section of this part and I will tell you exactly in whole what I did to get to this point and why you shouldn't do what I did okay but I won't make that mistake again So we finished the first part of standing it. I wanted that that wood color 
that uh you know shiny ish natural wood color now obviously from what the drum was painted um you're not gonna get the natural wood but i wanted the shine from the drum to come out so you'll see the before and after from when i sanded it and now the shine has come out now we lacquer this baby up and we get it to, to phase three man let's do it Okay, let's go for it. Also keep in mind how I didn't necessarily touch the inside. I don't want to do that. I do not want to touch the inside. It's for cosmetics, it's for aesthetics. Why would you? <laughs> All right, man. So what I did was I tapered off the little tips. The last guy who painted this, these lugs did not do that. And uh, I want to make sure I do that. That's why I was like, man, every time I tune them, I'm like, man, it feels like it's so tight. But I never put WD-40 in it. I didn't know what kind of chemicals or whatever were in it. So I'm going to start from scratch. I sanded them down as much as I could. As you can see, it's still, uh, you still got some of the old gold up there. However, the uh, grit is there. So the paint will catch it. And uh, let's get started, man. Four after one coat. Remember guys and gals, the first coat <coughs> is not supposed to look like the complete finished product. So you gotta have patience. The first coat is going to look decent. You wanna do three coats of this. Everything that you did not touch up, you'll come back to it and you'll touch it up. But so far, this is what we have. I'll take them into the sunlight later so you can see it, but this is what you want to come out with at first. All right, so you start there. Any tiny brush ups you want to do, tiny. You take care of them, tiny, not a lot. Because if your first, if your first coat is trash, the rest are going to be trash. You cannot take a chance on sanding these down. And I'll show you why. You don't want to sand these down and you don't want to provide a clear coat after because if you try to sand them down like I did before, you'll get this. And this was not good. I'll bring it up for you. That's what that's going to look like. This was my test lug and it went pretty badly, uh, really badly. So this is my test 
and what happened was I put primer on it. Hold on, let me take my mask off. So I put primer on this because I thought that it needed primer. That was the one mistake I made. So I tried to sand that off, which I did relatively decent, but trying to sand primer, yes, of course. But what happened was after, even after I got the primer off, I tried to do the clear coat, I mean the, uh, the gold. When I did the gold, it worked out for the most part, but there were sections that I'm like, oh, my first coat over bubbled too much, you can see. So what I tried to do was scrape it off and start all over. Absolutely shameful. This is what happens when you do it. And because of these grates that the collectors has, because of these small little grates, it was almost impossible to do it. And then the rest of what's what you see here, this spaghetti and meatballs is trying to clear coat over this. This paint is so amazing that you won't need to. And if you're looking for that matte kind of shiny gold, shiny under the right circumstances, but for the most part matte, this is where you want to be, which is here. So even with this one, you can see, I tried to scrape off a little bit to see. This is another test log. But this is what you want it to look like when it's finished. Now this one has the texture as if it feels like it's the metal now. It doesn't feel like, you know, even a few coats eight later of paint, it has the texture that you want. It feels like the paint has been inside the metal or whatever this material is. And that's what you want when you're on video, when you shine it and when you do stuff. So that's where you want to be, all right? Gold Destiny. <laughs> this is before, right? So whoever had the lugs and the tension rods and all that stuff, I thought it was real gold. It's not. It was the regular chrome gold and they painted it up. Same for this one. And this is the before. This is what it looked like before. See the, the silver? All stuff getting there nice and ugly and gritty. This is the after. What? This is one coat, guys, ladies and gentlemen. That is one coat. Took the uh, handy dandy sprayer and instead of spraying like on it, say you do miss a few spots here, yeah, you will lightly, you know, breeze it in, but it has a good nozzle on it. So you want to make sure you're coating it as you go along. Nice sweeps. So I'll show you what that looks like now. Inside the rim, but not. I want this. Remember, guys, this is for aesthetics. So I don't want this to get inside the rim so much that it gets underneath and makes it ugly. I want my drums to sound good still.
Man, thank you all for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will have a bunch of videos out for you guys. I got a bunch of courses coming your way one by one, and I do need the donations. If you do not mind, shoot me those your way so I can create better content for you all and bring you amazing gear, okay? I am here, Don J, your music drum instructor. If you have any questions in regard to the restoration itself, you have a project you want to try, you have something you want to do, shoot me an email, don, D-A-H-N, at artfulsoul.world. D-A-H-N, at artfulsoul.world. I'm going to help you guys out, man. Um, this is not an easy project. I'll help you guys out from start to finish if you send me an email. Be patient with me. Get a lot of emails, okay? Love y'all, man. Keep drumming.